Hello everyone, welcome you for Convolutional Neural Networks Architecture session. The Convolutional Neural Network Architecture is called Convnets simply, which is having multiple hidden layers in its architecture. Jan Likun has developed the first convolutional neural network in 1988, which is called LeNet, which is the first convolutional neural network for uh, which is developed for recognizing the characters like uh, zip codes and digits in image format, which are widely used for processing the images such as identifying uh, satellite image identifying the patterns from satellite images and identifying the patterns from medical images forecasting the time series data and uh, object detection such as detecting the anomalies or tumors from the scanned images. Output we can give different uh, formats based upon our uh, given problem statement that may be a binary class classification or multi class classification. Uh, sometimes we may use uh, the given architecture for uh, provide you uh, the floating point value or integer values. Always the input giving to the uh, deep learning architecture will be fixed size. That means you may have images like 4 by 4 images, input images, all in images may be 4 by 4. So your uh, number of inputs will be 16. So all the inputs will be fixed size inputs. Sometimes you may have different size of images. One image is 4 by 4 and another image is may, uh, having 5 by 4, 5 by 5. So now you may have uh, 25, uh, 25 inputs here. So here 16 inputs. So what we have to do? We have to resize this images into same size. So either you have to convert this 4 by 4 into 5 by 5 or this 5 by 5 has to be converted into con uh, 4 by 4. So you have to uh, uh, apply the reshaping of images or resizing the images into same size. So the input will be always fixed size. Then you may use padding or may not use the padding to avoid loss of information of given images. Then we are having different architectures. Here uh, I have shown you so many deep learning architecture. So a user can select uh, depends upon his application whatever architecture is required. The optimization will be applied based upon the backward propagation until getting uh, uh, expected input by improving the uh, model by reducing errors uh, uh, for each and every iteration. Here the hyperparameters can be used for improving our deep learning model which are estimated properly only if you have more number of images. The deep learning can be used only the input data set is having uh, more images, thousands of images or millions of images or billions of images. If you have less number of images, then you cannot use convolutional neural network to process your images. Then what to do? We have to go for some of the process is called augmentation. Then you can increase the number of images by applying augmentation process. If you don't want to apply the augmentation process, then you simply use machine learning artificial neural network to process your images instead of selecting convolutional neural network. Then you can use the architecture uh, trained hyperparameters which are already experimented by researchers. That means this some of the hyperparameters are uh, uh, already trained by some of the researchers. Uh, so that is called trained weights, trained parameters which is available already to classify the images that is called ImageNet or we are having Microsoft or Google APIs etc. Here the convolutional neural network is having multiple uh, layers which is processing the input uh, to extract features 
uh, of this given input image first one is convolutional layer in this convolutional layer which is uh, having several filters to perform the convolutional uh, convolution operation convolutional layer is performing the convolution operation so here the convolution operation is extracting the features from uh, uh, given input image then the cnn is having relu layer uh, to perform operations on given elements so which is called rectify linear unit the activation function uh, the activation function is uh, generating the output for each and every neuron in the hidden layer then there is one of the layer is called pooling layer the pooling layer is getting the feature map from each and every convolution layer and uh, the feature map is uh, feeding into the pooling layer here pooling is the process of reducing the size of the uh, feature map okay suppose uh, if our uh, feature map is having uh, 8 by 8 okay then if it will take more number of uh, parameters you look at that it is having 64 uh, connections input inputs so the 64 connections will take uh, so many number of uh, weight parameters so reduce to reduce that uh, we will apply uh, the down sampling process that is called pooling the down sampling what it will do downsize the image by use, here the pooling layer mostly will use the one of the process is called stride with stride equal to 2 so what it will be what it will be done it will downsize the image by half okay 4 by 4 ima image 4 by 4 feature so it is called uh, down sampling we are uh, downsize the given feature map so by reducing this here you will get only 16 so you need very less number of weight parameters when comparing this feature map so the pooling layer is resulting two dimensional array from the pooled pooled feature map into single or long continuous or linear vector by flattening it that means final stage after reaching the final stage in this hidden layer so what it will do here we will have the uh, feature map in the rectangle for rectangle form so the rectangle form input uh, the rectangle form uh, feature map will be converted into vector form so that is called uh, flattening the inputs so that's what done here right at the end of the after max pooling layer then this flattened input which is showing here okay so these are all feature maps so each and every convolution layer is performing this operation so from the feature map the input rectangle input is transforming into a flattening a flattening form so the flattening form is called vectors so then the flattened uh, values given to uh, given to the fully connected layer the fully connected layer is uh, uh, taking the flattened input from the pooling layer and uh, it is performing the uh, classification process so classify classify the images by identifying the patterns which are extracted in the convolution layer with the combination of pooling layers so here the convolutional neural network can be built by initializing the weights and bias randomly so here uh, we are having the neural network so here the input will be passed the inputs here are, are connected to the uh, neurons which are available in the hidden layer one here the parameters to these connections can be initialized randomly so that's what given here so the uh, weights has to be assigned randomly and each and every neuron in the uh, hidden layers will have the bias parameter the bias parameter value also initialized randomly then we have to make the fixed size of the input and we, uh, we, we should identify the 
रिकॉर्ड आउटपुट इधर मल्टी क्लास क्लासिफिकेशन और बाइनरी क्लास क्लासिफिकेशन और फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट वैल्यू सो बेस्ड अपॉन दैट यू हैव टू फिक्स द आउटपुट लेयर देन वी हैव टू कैरी ऑन टू फेसेस ऑफ द प्रोसेस वन इज द फॉरवर्ड प्रोपगेशन इन द फॉरवर्ड प्रोपगेशन यू विल रिसीव द इनपुट दैट इनपुट विल बी पासिंग इनटू द कन्वोल्यूशन लेयर्स द कन्वोल्यूशन लेयर्स आर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग द इंफॉर्मेशन इन ईच and every hidden layer and finally the uh, extracted information is flattened the flattened input is sending to the fully connected layers so this is fully connected layer 1 this is fully connected layer 2 finally the classification layer is available here the classification layer is classifying the output based upon the extracted information and learned the fully connected uh, uh, layers learning the information finally which is classifying by the uh, classifier so until here which is called forward propagation the which is generating the output after generating the output we have to calculate the cost that means error okay so if it is giving error then we have to go for optimizing the model by using backward propagation here in the backward propagation we will apply the stochastic gradient descent which is learning the parameters and update the parameters of the network by applying the partial differentiation here uh as i told you uh, the convolutional neural network is having many hidden layers each hidden layer is extracting the information based upon the given input images the activation functions are used inside the um, convolutional neural networks um, either relu or sigmoid mostly they will use relu activation function in the uh, hidden layers of um, con uh, convolutional neural network finally you can use for um, binary class classification sigmoid uh, activation function multi class classification uh, softmax activation function then we will apply the uh, cost function cross entropy categorical cross entropy or binary cross entropy uh, so categorical cross entropy can be used for multi class classification uh, binary cl uh, binary cross entropy can be used for uh, binary class classification as a uh loss function thanks for watching